When dealing with directed numbers, order of operations still applies. So let's identify in this problem what the operations are and make sure we're very careful to separate out the numbers, be they positive or negative. So we can see here that we've got an addition, we've got negative 10 plus 9, but we've also got a multiplication between the 9 and the negative 6. So order of operations says we do the multiplication first and then we'll worry about the addition after. So you can see in this next step we've worried purely about 9 multiplied by negative 6 and that gives us a result of negative 54. Now we've done another line at the same time here. What we've said if we're adding a negative number that's the same as subtraction. So we've got negative 10 minus 54. So the next operation is in fact a subtraction and if we've got negative 10 and subtract 54 the number will be even more negative. You can imagine that on a number line where you start at negative 10 and then subtract, so you move to the left and you end up with a result of negative 64. So our final solution after both operations in this problem is negative 64.